Pollyanna McIntosh is an actress best known for her role as Jadis in the hit AMC show, The Walking Dead. Today, she joins us to dish on the twists, surprises, and what to expect <coughs> in the ninth season of the post-apocalyptic television series. Let's take a look. It wasn't that long ago, we were fighting just to stay alive. But it's not like that anymore. We're building, growing. We're getting back a piece of who we used to be. How things were before all this. It's all happening. We're making a new beginning. Everyone, put your hands together for Walking Dead actress Pollyanna McIntosh. Hi. First, we have to let people know that you came in with your cute little doggy. I did come in with my and cute he was already doggy. running the space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was his name again? Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, <laughs> how could you forget that? Talk name? about a turn <laughs> classic right there. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> totally. He's small but mighty. So let's talk about Walking Dead. Obviously, everybody loves his show. Coming back for a ninth season. Yeah. What can we expect? We've got a very new world to discover this time. Okay. It's been a year and a half, so we've got this great time jump. And um, you know, these are soldiers coming out of a war. These are people trying to recover and trying to build a new life. Um, and the communities are as we've known them, but there is a little friction between the kind of organization of things at this stage, gotcha. with Maggie running Hilltop and Michonne and Rick running Alexandria. Gotcha. Right. So yeah, Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like to join a cast like The Walking Dead that's like so established and you know they've been going for seven years and then you join? Yeah. It's weird. You'd think, it, you'd think it would be really... Are they picking on you? Not in the least, thank God. Oh, that'd be awful. You do think coming into something like this, you think, well, it's going to be, you know, like you say, the relationships are established and, you know, I'm just going to come in and do my part. And, but it's not like that at all. It's extraordinarily welcoming. Um, lots and lots of fun. Andy is the best number one we could have, you know, you could ever hope for. And it's still fresh and exciting and people are really pumped to be at work. So it's, it's great. It's still the number one drama on TV in like the 1849 demo. So yeah. congrats. Yeah. Right it's, there. All, it's all me. I'm, <laughs> all you, all, I'm, I'm assuming they said when you came on, it really grew. Um, but when I read that your, your audition, your character, the gender wasn't specified. Yeah. So how is it that you've really actually been like developing the character from very Gender is a core aspect yeah. of any yeah. character. So what's been like developing this character since season seven now to nine? Good hit question. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and that was one of the most exciting things for me about going in on this was that they were thinking outside the box from day one. And, you know, like you say, gender can define us. But in this case, she's a leader. And it doesn't matter whether she's a man or a woman. It's she's a leader. And who she is is who she is. And so that's what was so cool about about that fact that it wasn't specified. And then I got the job, because I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, developing her has been a collaboration, obviously, with so many people. And, um, and Scott Gimple, this is really his creation, because she wasn't in the comic books. Right. Mm -hmm. So we talk a lot, but he also holds back a lot. Mm -hmm. So I've come up with my own stuff as well. Um, and now she's developing further with this new name. She's Anne now. She's trying to be in this community and in this group and having a new role and um, it's The Walking Dead, so it's not yeah. going to be easy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going to go as planned. What have you learned about yourself by playing this role? I've learned how much I like to be playing a character like her who's very calm and, and very secure in her choices and there's kind of a meditative, relaxing, you wouldn't think it on a zombie show <laughs> where walkers are coming at you for all the time, but you know, there's a sort of meditative quality to playing Jadis because when I'm in that role, I'm just very grounded, right. you know, very, I'm a bit more flighty yeah. than she is. Yeah. Um, yeah. In a recent interview, uh, Norman Reedus said that season nine is very female driven mm. um, and with Angela King's new showrunner, so yeah. how else is like women kind of taking over the show? Well, I think it's quite a good start, isn't it, that we've got a female showrunner. That's yes. fabulous. Um, Angela was always an extremely strong writer in the group, and now she's a great showrunner. Um, we've got 50-50 female directors, which is very new mm -hmm. and very exciting, and it's been really cool. Um, and also just the, the, the relationships, you know, are, are balanced, and we go inside of lots of female characters' heads as much as the men. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like if there was a zombie takeover? <laughs> yes, you now would we're getting into serious <laughs> questions. Yes, yes. Enough of the, the bullshit. <laughs> Do you feel that you would be able to handle yourself? Do you feel like you have life skills having worked on? Like, I'm curious if you if you I truly feel like yeah I, I, I kind of do I kind of do it's weird I mean it's probably total bollocks but like, I do I feel 
I don't know, it's weird. When I was a kid, I was always, like, you know, you're driving the car with your parents and they're doing their thing, whatever. And I was always looking out the window. And if I'd see somewhere like a junkyard or a, a bunch of trash, or whatever, I'd think, oh, I'd make this, or a little, like a little, or like a little dell or something. I'd say, oh, I'd make a home there and I'd build that and I'd put that there. And then I end up, you know, running this junkyard as this yeah. character. As a trash and, queen. As a trash <laughs> queen. And um, I think it is kind of right for me. Yeah, I think okay. I do pretty well in the apocalypse. That's awesome. I like, ma I like making, do, yeah, making do and mend with things. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like um, you know, it's not a good, it's maybe not a good example, but if there's just a little bit of nonsense in the fridge, I can make a really good meal. <laughs> I feel like that with everything. That's you know? a good <laughs> yeah. skill. Thanks. That is a good That's skill. Yeah. I couldn't do that. Really? I'm, I'm hungry. You're so, such a New Yorker. You just <laughs> yeah, go out every night. Time to go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we, yeah. Did, if we don't yeah. have Seamless in the post apocalypse, Don't know what I do. Geez, it's Screwed. Over. Oh, I'm done. Yeah. Screwed. I'm, there's no, I have no You skills. can come and live in my little Oh, that'd be space. great. I'll, I'll be your servant. I'll, I'll do whatever you want. I'll take care of you. <laughs> That's a big offer. That was yeah. great. <laughs> you would not do well in the apocalypse. <laughs> uh, speaking of the trash queen, you have your own charity kind of tied to that, right? Yes. So well, it's not my, I can't take full responsibility for the charity because it's, but thank you for asking about it. Yeah. I kind of checked yeah. out the site and the, the clothing is for yeah. all women and kind of take me behind the message behind that. Cool, thank you. Um, Joshua Nolan Foundation is run by Laura Nolan who lost her son to suicide and decided to make a really positive um, charity from that experience and finding that people didn't have counseling when they needed it. Mm -hmm. Um, so she provides free counseling for people and puts psycho psychotherapists together with people who need them. And uh, I just wanted to, to give and to, to help her with it. So I designed some clothes based on Jadis and you can get them on pollyannamacintosh.net. Mm -hmm. um, pollyannamacintosh.net, <laughs> you can buy them. And um, yeah, it was really fun designing some merchandise that both honored Jadis, but AMC can't sue me for using right. her hair. <laughs> that was my hair. I would say they're like badass, but trendy. Yeah, Definitely they're like kind of like the, the sweatshirts and stuff like Stussy style, yeah. you know, with, with hand, my handwriting on it, my signature, and I put a little crown on the Jadis hair and, you know, trash queen. Trash queen. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you own that nickname now. Thank you. Like, yeah, I'm the trash yeah. queen. <laughs> it's like Oscar the Grouch, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And he's an icon, so... <laughs> well, Polly, I think... Green things, Yoda, Oscar <laughs> the Grouch, and me. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Thank us today. You. Thank you. Thank you.